I picked up some new items at my local Hobby Lobby for fall. And these kind of all go together. I'm not actually sure if I'm going to put them all in the same tray, but I just want to show you what I got. First of all, I got this cute little still life canvas. I think these are so cute and they're inexpensive. And I think that'll be a great addition and update to my trays this year. The other thing that I really liked was this beautiful turkey. I love the wood and the white on that. So that's going to go on one of my trays. And then these here are mushrooms. I thought those are kind of cute and different. So I got a light one and I got a dark one. And we'll see how I use those. Probably not together. We'll see. And then I thought these were really cute. These little knitted pumpkins. They come on sticks. They're picks. Um, I'm going to be taking them off the sticks. And then the, I also got one of these little um, sets here that have all the different pieces in it. Some of this is more of the same for me. But when it comes to these little pieces like this, I really feel like you can never have enough of that when you're doing trays because you always need a piece here or there to fit something in. I really like these little, um, uh, you can't really see it because of the, these little acorns. Aren't those cute? Loving the um, stripes on those. I thought those were really cute. Those were really what caught my eye and why I bought this package. And then the last thing that I got are these acorns here. These are kind of more glam. I was thinking these might go on my jeweled, uh, kind of jeweled top tray. Not jeweled, but it has this kind of shiny finish on the metal piece at the top. I don't know. We'll see. Those are the new things I got. And then over here, I brought up some things from my basement. I usually like to use this. I have a black and white. This is good if you're going to do like a, maybe like a Halloween theme. This little ghost. This pumpkin also, I think from Hobby Lobby, has a realistic look. I've got this little pitcher here. I don't even think I used this last year, so we're going to see if we can try to use it this year. This one I've had a while. Um, got a couple more neutrals down here. This one is from, uh, I think, uh, Bath and Body Works. Not ba Yeah, Bath and Body Works. This blue one. And then here, this is a candle. And I just think that's real pretty. So see if we can use these with what we've got. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. I bought these items earlier in the season. I bought this item here. I don't know, I bought through these three black pieces. I was kind of going towards maybe a Halloween tray. I think we're going to do a, a fall tray and we're going to do a Halloween tray. We may do two fall trays. If I do a Halloween tray, it's not going to be scary. It's just going to be kind of, kind of fun. Okay, I brought up several more pumpkins because I just really didn't feel like I had enough. You really can't go wrong. And there's more where this came from too, believe it or not. We're going to start with my galvanized metal tray. This is a tray I got a couple years ago at Hobby Lobby. So you can see I have some uh, kitchen items on here already. I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to keep. I'm going to put my painted canvas on here. I think that this would be really nice in the kitchen. So it looks like it's going to fit better on the bottom rung. So we're going to work with it just like that. I think these pumpkins match the colors in the painting. And we're going to put a few more pumpkins on there. I have lots of pumpkins, as you're going to see. Isn't this turkey adorable? He's from Hobby Lobby, and he's new this year, I think. And then here is the filler pieces that I bought. I'm going to be using these on this tray. And then here's a good look at everything that's in this package. I just kind of wanted to show you everything in there. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see in the package everything you're getting. I just think the little acorns are adorable.
So sometimes you really struggle to get exactly what you want with the tray. And sometimes you just improvise with other pieces. I'm just gonna slide this little house back there and that's gonna hold my pumpkins just like I want them to be on the tray. Just some finishing touches here, and this kitchen tray is done. So I like to show you the pretty picture of the tray, but I also like to show you where I actually use it in the house. This particular tray goes on my counter in my kitchen, and it's usually decorated in some way, which is more of like a, a kitchen-y theme, which I think this one is. All right, tray number two. We're gonna use the white tray today, even though it's fall, and I probably would be better off using the black tray, maybe, I don't know. We're gonna try the white tray. We're gonna do kind of a, a happy Halloween theme here. Now this tray came from uh, Amazon and I have it in the white and I have it in the black and I really love it for doing tiered trays because there is just the right amount of space in, the, in these trays um, to get a lot of different pieces in there. So here's some pieces I'm thinking about using and we'll see what we come up with here today. Every year I try to use this boo sign. I really think it's very cute. I've used it on my uh, fireplace mantle, but I haven't used it on a tray. I just, I keep trying to use it, but it just doesn't work. Haven't figured out a way to use it yet. If you've made it this far in this video and you're enjoying what you're seeing and you're not subscribed to my channel, I would invite you to subscribe. If you're enjoying it and you like it, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. Um, I also have some other fall videos. I have other trays that I've done over the years. I have, I think I have like a fireplace mantle uh, decorating that I've done. I've done some dough bowls and I even did a fall charcuterie board. And I will link those videos for you below in case you're interested in them.
I needed to get some more batteries in my lights there. Much better. How do you like my cute little Halloween tray? So I've swapped out my beach theme that I had for this Halloween theme. And um, I'm liking it on my hearth here. So I'm gonna pan up and show you the rest of it. I'm really going to, uh, I gotta change out the top still. So I'll probably add a few fall touches here. I don't know if I'll make a video. Maybe I'll post a picture in the community tab or on Instagram or something. Okay, my third tray is my beaded tray. I also got this one off of Amazon and I will have a link below in case you're interested. I'm finally gonna use these uh, shiny acorns. And I, when I bought these, I had this tray in mind. They're perfect for this tray. And I think this is becoming my favorite tray. I don't know, they're all my favorite trays. It's hard to pick a favorite, really. She put her mind to Late night hours up the hill Serving coffee to strangers Talking about revenue She kept dreaming of a world Big enough for everyone But she knew it must rain before it grows She kept dreaming of the day Butterflies so by the wheel Even though she could knock down and never show I thought maybe it was too much orange with this little pumpkin so I decided to put this little floral arrangement in this little watering can in my cloche and my cloches are on um, Amazon also those mini cloches they are wonderful for trays so what do you think of this tray This one I keep in my living room. I keep it on my bookshelf here, kind of opposite these candles here. Well, I didn't use these two, but I don't know. I'm gonna leave them on the sticks, maybe if I decorate my mantle. And then I wasn't sure about the mushrooms. I really thought they'd be cute on a tray, but I haven't tucked them in anywhere. I don't know, maybe I can tuck it in on this one I just did. Hang on. No, I didn't really like it, so stay tuned for me using these. <laughs>